Hi, this is John Meyer, host of CYA, Cover Your Assets, interviewing John Shepkoff about how to pay off and get rid of consumer debt. John, how are you? I'm doing good. How long have you been doing this? About 30 years now. Okay, and when we talk about consumer debt, we're talking about what in particular are you talking about? Well, um, automobiles, line of credit, student loans, uh, credit cards of some sort, that's okay. what I mean by consumer debt. Okay, so let's use credit cards as an, as an example if we can. Now, the average consumer, from what I understand, has about $5,000 in credit card debt. Is that correct? Yes. At least it used to be anyway. Yeah. Okay, high. and so and then when the, the consumer is required to make a minimum payment on that, right? Right. And, and that's based on usually about 3%. So That's what it used to be in the banking system, but banks are getting pretty sly. And what they're doing is they're lowering the percentage. So a rule of thumb is if a person had $5,000 worth of debt, they used to be paid about 3%. At th based at 3%, that means that that loan would be paid off in approximately 25 years, seven months. So 3% of 5,000 is about $150. So $1,800 a year for 25, almost 26 years. Yes. That's way past five grand. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. sure is. Now, a lot of money. you mentioned something to me before off camera. Let's talk about this so that people can understand. You mentioned something about a closing date. What is that? The, yeah, the most important is the closing date, and, and when banks give out their statement, so far, there's, there's periods of time. Now, the, most banks will say, I'll give you a 25-day grace period. When I hear the word grace period, I think of it as how much money the bank is making, because that's okay. what that really means. So grace period, when they say they give you 25 days, it just means more money to the bank's hip pocket. When you're paying, you want to be working off what's called the closing date each month. And can you find that out from the bank? Absolutely, you can do that. Yeah. Can you find it out for the, for the client? Oh, I could, you know, but the consumer can actually do that. But the, the thing is, is they want to always be working off of what's called closing date instead of the grace period. So and how does the consumer find out about the closing date? Just ask? Well, they do, but the, the, here's the challenge is, is if you don't use the right word, and I will share with them how that's done. Okay. The bank tends to give you most of the time it's the grace period or they don't even really want to talk about closing it because really that takes money out of their pocket when they do that. Now you know we hear and a lot of people, I get phone calls on my radio show about this a lot and that is there's programs out there like yours, I use that term loosely, like yours, that are just robbing these poor people. These people are trying to get out of debt and they're paying exorbitant amounts of money and they're not getting helped. What's the difference between you and them? Good question. The thing is with me is that, well first I've been doing this for 30 years, I designed the program myself and I actually teach people a different way how they're supposed to make their payments. In fact, when a person, when I talk to a person, an individual, I just want to know how much they owe on each one of their items, what is the minimum payment, and if they can pay some kind of additional amount of extra money toward the debt. I'll do all the calculations, so let's say they have five cards credit cards or they have 20 credit cards and they say, okay, I'm paying right now, let's say all together, uh, or they, they list all the minimum payment, but you know what, John, I can pay an extra 2,000, 3,000. I'll do all the calculations for them and it, it's in an Excel program. I also give them an audio and I also explain about uh, how they actually pay this off. And doing it my way, they're gonna go from a 25 years, seven months, down to approximate eight years, seven months, and that's it. They didn't actually use any extra money toward the extra debt. That was my next question. If they don't use any extra money, they can pay it off sooner also, correct? And Absolutely. You just, you just, just do it. it. Yeah, actually doing it the way I'm showing them how to do it. Because it is totally different than anything out there. Nobody's doing what I'm doing. Now, the fees that other people charge are pretty hefty. <laughs> Very hefty. And compared to that, you're pennies on the dollar. Pennies. Why? I do that because, I'm first of all, I want to help as many consumers. So I'm doing volume is what it is. Okay. My heart is to help people out. Right. So you're still making money, but you, you believe in doing volume rather than doing, you know, stabbing somebody, if you will, for lack of a better right. term. Because, you know, getting it all at once and then walking away from the consumer laughing because you've got all their money. Absolutely. And you haven't helped them at all. Absolutely. That's why you've been doing this for 30 years and your reputation stands before you. Yeah, there's nothing negative uh, about me on the internet. And that's one thing I, I pride myself because I really give 100% of myself 
And when people call, I actually pick up the phone and I talk to people on the phone. Yeah. You don't get a recording. If you do, I am very good about returning that call back. Well, you know, I've known you over a decade now, and it's one of the reasons why we're both standing here is because your integrity is high as mine is, and I won't do business with anybody whose passion is not to help people to maintain integrity. John, what's the website again? MentoringPeople.com. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time.